Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I have a crazy story. And it's coming from Michigan. So if you guys don't know, this story's making its rounds around the internet. Somebody also posted on Discord. But there's a rap duo, and they've been arrested and indicted for fraud. Now, initially, when I heard rap duo and fraud, I assumed it was the damn city girls, because we know they love robbery and fraud. <laughs> but no, they're busy getting their music together. They're about to drop their new Twerkalator song. But this is a new rap duo, honey looking like the bootleg salt and paprika or salt and pp pepper so anyhow they have been arrested recently because they basically filed 122 tax returns okay in different people's names social security numbers but the crazy thing is the irs issued more than 13.6 million dollars to them and was getting ready to pay them like another 10 million one tax return alone was over eight hundred thousand dollars on one tax return. So this entire story is insane. They're a rap duo from Michigan. Maybe I'm old, honey, but I've never heard of this salt and paprika reject. Y'all go ahead and check this out. And I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. They posed as rap stars raking in millions, but the feds say all the money they really made came from filing dozens and dozens of fraudulent tax returns. The female rap duo called themselves Deuces Wild, and they're accused of netting $5 million from fake tax returns. They say the money went to buy a fleet of luxury cars and a whole lot more. Let's get to Sean Lay. He's live tonight. And Sean, court documents claim this went on for years. Years of living absolutely large. You're right, Karen, until the IRS finally caught on. But get this, you mentioned that the IRS already sent them $5 million allegedly in these alleged fake tax returns. $10 million more from the IRS was in the pipeline headed towards them until they caught on. Deuces Wild is their name. The feds say a major league IRS scam is their game. game a Southfield rap duo. One woman named Samira Merrill, a.k.a. Samira Anderson, Samira Pickett, Creme, Lauren Boyd. Another woman named Noelle Brown, also known as Nikki Brown. The IRS says the two filed electronically by mail from Michigan and from Georgia. They made up companies called Lucid Communication Trust, which got a tax return of $57,000. Another company for Weaves Only, which got a $31,000 tax return. An informant brought in on the scheme let investigators listen to a call where they say the two spelled it all out. The two allegedly stole people's identities and filed tax return after tax return and for fake businesses. If the informant wanted in, they'd be paid $15,000. It worked and worked for a long time. Some refund checks were sent for more than $876,000, another for $299,000. Finally, the IRS caught on. Big part of the evidence the feds are presenting now in court is that IRS investigators, they say they watched Marl deposit hundreds of thousands of dollars time and time again at local banks, and they were watching on bank security cameras. Now, she's also been released despite prosecutors making the argument that she and her rap duo uh, traveled the world, they say, on this tax money. Noelle Brown, the other uh, suspect here, she's not appeared in federal court yet, guys. It may be an indicator that she's not been arrested yet. Back to you. Wow, what a story, Sean. What about the money? Everyone always wonders, will the IRS taxpayers get any of those millions back? All depends on how much is left in the accounts. The feds froze the accounts, so what's left in there will go back. If it's been spent, it's unlikely the IRS and taxpayers will ever see that money again. All right, Defender Sean Lay, thanks so much. All right, honey. So y'all just watched that video. These folks have to just be self-titled rappers because I didn't hear nothing. I didn't hear nothing banging from that clip that they was playing from the news. It did make me want to go out and check out their song. I believe they were calling themselves rappers as a front and not really because they were good at rapping, okay? But I find it very interesting that these women weren't caught until an informant, a supposed informant, told the FBI about what was going on and they ended up wiring them up. 
I'm not really buying that. I believe that there's definitely more to the story. One thing I've always told you guys is that the IRS will sit back and watch you dig yourself into a deep hole before they pounce because they want to make sure that they have a case. You mean to tell me that you got all these regular people out here, child, let you miss one tax payment or be late or let the IRS not even get a few hundred dollars from you that you owe them. They will freeze your fucking bank account. OK, they will freeze your shit behind a few hundred dollars to get your attention. So you mean to tell me that somebody's walking around here with an eight hundred thousand dollar tax return. They're getting millions of dollars deposited and that's not raising red flags to the IRS initially. Nah, the IRS has been watching them. And I bet you that informant who was a friend, they were tied up in another case. OK, they were arrested in another case. They were watching these women, watching them dig, you know, dig a grave even deeper. And then once they realized that their informant had a relationship with these women is when they probably planned to set everything up. I just don't believe that an informant cracked the case. I believe they have been getting watched and that the IRS were allowing these women to continuously set themselves up because this whole situation just makes no sense. You know, I've known people who have literally owed just a few hundred dollars and they've had bank accounts frozen, been threatened to get kicked out of their homes for not paying property taxes. But yet and still, these women with no real solid job, they're just making up jobs. We've incorporated and they're getting all this money back. It doesn't make any sense. In order for them to get an $800,000 refund, they literally have to have a big corporate company you know, like a Citibank or Wells Fargo. It just doesn't make sense how these two women will be able to get back an $800,000 refund on one account, you know? And then the fact that this was going on, there's no real, and especially if they're looking at the banks, because when you're getting money deposited into your bank, they check all that stuff. Anytime you get anything over $10,000, they have to make sure that it's coming from a legitimate source, that it's not $10,000 worth of cash and things like that. So I just find that the whole story is not sitting well with me. So you mean to tell me that the IRS is writing these major checks for random companies that can't really be verified, that have different EIN numbers, different social security numbers, but yet and still you have regular people out here right now who still have not even received their first stimulus check, let alone their third. But these fools was able to get millions of dollars over the past five years. That was a full setup. Now I will say this, what a lot of people need to understand is that a lot of shit is getting ready to hit the fan, especially when it comes to the IRS, taxes, PPP, and all this stuff. If you guys do not know, Joe Biden recently proposed allocating the IRS with an additional $80 billion for enforcement purposes. A lot of folks are not realizing that, okay? So what he's saying is that basically he's given the agency more authority over the next 10 years to help crack down on tax evasion by high earners and large corporations. There will be new disclosure requirements for non-corporate entities and for hugely wealthy people potentially hiding money from the feds. The 80 billion in boosted enforcement would be recouped many times over by nixing some of this tax avoidance and bringing in more than 700 billion in revenue over the next 10 years. So that is Joe Biden's plan. And they're saying that it's supposed to be for the wealthy and the folks who are like, you know, taking their money and putting it overseas and not really paying taxes. And that sounds good. If you're making that much money, you're a legit millionaire you're definitely going to have some clout. You're going to have connections. So I don't really see this so much affecting these so-called white millionaires who put money overseas and in Swiss bank accounts. What I see this really affecting is a lot of regular people, mainly people of color, who are out here scamming and doing stupid shit. What they're trying to do is crack down. You have a lot of folks out here using people's identities, messing up people's identities because they're out here scamming and trying to get tax money, trying to get PPP. That enforcement agency is going to be used to crack down. Believe me, if they're claiming that they're trying to get money from hugely wealthy people hiding their money, trust and believe that that money is also going to be allocated to find regular people who are doing PPP loans and PPP scams and unemployment scams. So that's what I'm saying. Even if you're getting away with something right now, 
They can come knocking on your door three years from now. The government does not sleep and they are going to come for their money. If you took money from them illegally, if you applied for something, they don't care if you change your mind. If you know you decided you don't want the money, th the fact that you even attempted to defraud them gives them a case against you. So this is real. And these women, they're going to get a lot of time because if you guys don't know, I'm about shit, probably eight years ago, I did a video about this Florida woman. She was the self-proclaimed queen of tax fraud. ID and they recover the money that they want to get. When the money hits the debit card, they call it a drop celebrated in rap videos like this one. Tax season again. I need a drop, oh bitch. And the crooks are dropping some serious cash on luxury items like high-end cars. Have a look around the Tampa Police Department's impound lot. There's a Jaguar, custom paint jobs, and this Mercedes, which police say belonged to Rashia Wilson. They allege she boasted about her crimes on Facebook. I'm Rashia, the queen of IRS tax fraud, Wilson wrote last May. I'm a millionaire, for the record, so if you think indicting me will be easy, it won't. But Wilson and her boyfriend, Maurice Larry, are among the rare ones who were indicted. Investigators say they raked in more than a million dollars, filing over 220 fraudulent tax returns. And they flaunted it. Police seized one of his most prized possessions, this custom-made Camaro, filmed by Riding Clean magazine. TV in the back, over-the-top sound system, every rim, police say, paid for at taxpayers' expense. And all while Wilson was receiving public assistance. Wilson and Larry have pled not guilty. If convicted, they each could face more than a decade in prison. Do you think there was a sense among the criminals that they weren't really stealing from anyone in particular? That they're just getting free government money? Yeah, it wasn't like they came up to you, put a gun in your face, and took the money out of your pocket. It was just somebody's name, somebody's social security number, and really what... What's the big deal? But they're holding up the federal government. Sure they are. Yeah, they're robbing us blind. And she was sentenced to 21 years in prison. Her name is Rashea Wilson. And she was sentenced to 21 years. She does not get out until 2031. And she got locked up back in like 2013. You know, so they don't play. And unfortunately... You know, I feel like looking back on it, I, I think that's a lot of time for committing tax fraud, you know, because at the end of the day, like I said in that video, she didn't kill anybody. But when the government comes, they want to send a message. You can steal from other folks. You can do drive-bys. You can sell drugs. You can rob each other. But when it comes to robbing us, that's not an option. And they're going to throw the book at these two women. You know, so it, it's unfortunate, but a lot of y'all out here scheming and scamming, I suggest y'all stop. I know times may be hard for some people, but do what you got to do legitimately, because even though it's quick money, it's a lot of money, it's not worth it in the end. And these women were flossing and bragging, and they're probably going to end up getting the same amount of time as Rashia Wilson got. 20 something years on top of the fact that Joe Biden is pumping an additional $80 billion into the IRS for enforcement purposes. Y'all better read in between the lines. They're going to come for that money because right now the United States is really suffering. Plus, you know, with everything going on with the shortages and, you know, um, the inflation prices going up, the hacks, it's a lot of things going on financially that's affecting this country. So on top of the people who schemed millions of dollars in PPP and, you know, unemployment, they're going to come for their money and they're going to press charges. So this is very, very unnerving. But, you know, again, you have to do the right thing. You know, these women thought it was sweet. And on top of that, they were being braggadocious and showing off stuff. Eventually, eventually the gravy train comes to an end. And there's many people who have done the same thing who's been in trouble. So why people are not learning from these other people's mistakes, it makes no sense to me. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this bootleg ass salt and paprika, honey. Getting arrested and looking at serious time for their tax fraud scheme. So go ahead and leave a comment. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because YouTube loves unsubscribing people. Also, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to share the video. And last but not least, make sure you hit that notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.